First at 11, Seattle police are searching for a man accused of stabbing and killing someone at a light rail station. It happened in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood over the weekend at one of the line's busiest stops. Como's Lee Stoll has the latest on the investigation and asked riders this morning how they feel about taking mass transit after another violent attack. This is really a critical situation for Sound Transit. They carry more than 78,000 passengers every weekday. The incident happened Saturday just after 5.30 in the afternoon when officers got to the station on Capitol Hill. They found a 37-year-old man who had been stabbed several times. He was taken to Harborview Medical Center in critical condition where he died. The station was closed for the rest of the night. We're told the suspect a man ran off after that attack. Police so far has not had not given us any detail about who they're looking for. Do you feel safe most of the time? Most of the time I do, but there is times where I feel not unsafe, but more like I just should watch myself, my surrounding. We did reach out to Sound Transit about security issues. We're told they have more than doubled their personnel since 2022 to nearly 500 security officers, and that is on top of more than 65 King County Sheriff's officers who are also operating as transit police. At SeaTac Airport, I'm Lee Stoll, Como News. And that brings us to this morning's Como Pulse Poll. We're asking, how do you feel about safety on Sound Transit light rail? Right now, you can see that most people at 76% say unsafe. 16% say it depends on the station and time. Just 7% say mostly safe. And only 1% of people voting say always safe. If you'd like to add your vote, just point your phone's camera at the QR code there on the side of your screen. It creates a link that will take you directly to the poll at comonews.com.